Okay, today we continue with Yasod, and we have the first three of seven gates featuring the path of Lamed. Uh, Lamed uh, means uh, ox goad, which is a staff used to direct your oxen in uh, different ways. It's also seen as a serpent uncoiled. Teth was the serpent coiled. Lamed is the serpent uncoiled. Um, <clears throat> and this represents the zodiacal sign of Libra. So, our three gates, the first one is the linear gate of Lamed, and then there is one triangular gate and one quadrangular gate. Okay, so this first gate, from a universal perspective, we start in Gedjula. <clears throat> As the whole collective of solitary selves, that collective awareness, that <clears throat> the collective of parts. And we descend towards Yesod, enter into the realm of significance and end up as a solitary self in Yesod, experiencing existence as that whole body of sentient selves. Now, in this transition, we come from the collective awareness into a less collective awareness, but an awareness that is equipped, basically, and focused entirely upon that interaction between self and other. So it's less of a collective uh, orientation. But still, there is that urge to merge. And this manifests as a harmonizing influence, where the sentient selves try, you know, strive to achieve harmony and balance equilibrium with all of those other sentient selves, okay? So the whole body of sentient selves is focused on achieving equilibrium, okay? And then we rise back up to Gejula. Now that's very straightforward. And from a personal perspective, we start as a solitary self attached to all of these collectives, happy in our collectivity, and we travel towards that realm, that highly subjective realm of uh, uh, significance. And we realize that the only way that we can interact with all the other sentient selves is by harmonizing with them. We maintain in this way that collective sense, that sense that we're all in this together. Okay? That is the spirit of Libra, of Lama that unification uh, through this act of compassion, of uh, willingness to meet other halfway, shall we say, okay, and always find that common ground with other in all of our interaction, okay. And then we travel back up that path to the collective awareness. And we see from this <clears throat> how that collectivity evolves in awareness from the strictly collective to the looser uh, state of compassionate <clears throat> willingness to agree. There's always this willingness to come to a mutual uh, compromise 
to meet the world, the whole body of other sentient selves halfway. That is the path of Lange. Mm -hmm. So, our second gate is a triangle. And it starts in Gedula, travels down the path of equilibrium into Yesod, this realm of uh, uh, significance and the sentient self dealing constantly with other, okay? And we rise up the path of Resh, the full conscious awareness, into Tiferet, the solitary self, and then we pass down the path of Teth, of Leo, into Gedula again, that firm, proud statement of self. And then we pass back around back up to Gajula. Now, <clears throat> what this path does from a universal perspective is it reintroduces that strength of self-expression, a full consciousness, along with that, again, strength of self-expression in for the collective awareness. It puts that desire for equilibrium, that motivation to agree, basically, with these higher aspects of the sentient self, or the solitary self. <clears throat> that strength of individuality and power that we take down into the collective. And it's really from the perspective of the collective that we express ourselves in a balanced way. We strive for a collective balance. Okay? And the third gate is the quadrangle. And we start again in Gedula and pass down that, that path of balance into the realm, the highly subjective realm, interacting with other the realm of significance, we pass up that path of Resh, of full consciousness, into Tiferet, in the solitary self, and then we pass up the path of Zayin, of Gemini, into Hokmah, the the ocean, the infinite ocean of undifferentiated essential meaning, and then we pass down the path of Jupiter into Gajula, the collective awareness, okay? And then we return along that circuit. Now, the most significant part of this gate is really descent, the descent from Hokma into Gedjula, that blessing of the essential meaning upon Gedjula, the collective awareness, so that when we come around to the next time, we bring that blessing from Hokma with us the second time we do perform this circuit of the gate, okay? And then the third time, and each time, that blessing transforms uh, the spirit with which we descend into Yesod and bring that, that will to equilibrium with us. <clears throat> okay. So, that's it for today. Next time we will have four more. Uh, a paths or gates rather of Lamed. Okay? So, till then. Bye bye.